I haven't mentioned a strong enough incentive for doing a regular gratitude practice until now, this is definitely the one to pay attention to because what they found was a regular gratitude practice could shift the functional connectivity of emotion pathways in ways that made anxiety and fear circuits less likely to be active and circuits for feelings of well-being, but also motivation to be much more active. A lot of people who are highly motivated also have issues with anxiety and fear. And so this study really points to the fact that it's a twofer. If you have a good gratitude practice and you repeat it regularly, you reduce the fear anxiety circuits, you increase the efficacy of the positive emotion feel good circuits and the circuits associated with motivation and pursuit are actually enhanced as well. The first author is Hazlitt. And basically what this paper showed was that women who had a regular gratitude practice of the sort that we've been talking about up until now showed reductions in amygdala activity, a brain area associated with threat detection, a intimate part of the fear network in the brain. And another interesting aspect of this study is that the reductions in amygdala activation and the reductions in TNF alpha and IL-6 were very rapid. They occurred almost immediately after the gratitude practice was completed.